In this video, we're going to be going over some of the alternatives to Nmap. In the previous two videos, we went over the basic and advanced users of Nmap. So for this, we're just going to have our domain controller, our PFSense router, and our Kali Linux open. If we go ahead and go to our Kali Linux, we can log in. And I have a few tabs open already, um, and I've just got these two here, and I'll show you them later. So why would we use anything other than Nmap as we know it works? It's always good to get a consistent set of results, so we should always use a second scanner as well, just to make sure that the first lot of results we got from Nmap are consistent with the second lot of scans. Mascan, Unicorn Scan, and ARP Scan all have their own benefits. For example, Mascan is very quick at checking for open ports. It can do the whole internet in just over six minutes. So if we try Mascan, we can do the dash H to see what options it gives us. So there's not really a lot there, but there isn't really a lot that we can do with Mascan. So let's go ahead and try Mascan on a port that we know is open on the domain controller which is port 445 so if we type mascan and then dash p 445 then the ip address of the domain controller which is 192.168.2.102 and we're just going to do a slash 30 and then we're just going to press enter and as quick as that it's said that port 445 is open. So we're just gonna wait for that to finish. So like Mascan, ARPScan is quite quick at finding out what hosts are on the network. So you can type ARPScan, and then the IP address. For this, we're just gonna type dot one, and then we're gonna do a slash 24. And just like that, it's very quick at finding the whole network range that we're working with. Unlike Nmap, it would take a few more seconds, but Upscan is really quick at finding the host on the whole network. With Upscan, there is a few other options as well. So if we just type Upscan dash H, there's loads of different things that we can do. For example, we can do VLAN tagging. We can save the PCAPs. We can also restrict the bandwidth as well of uh, the scan. Just like Mascan or Nmap, we can use a file to read all of the host name and addresses in that file, which can be quite a useful feature if we have a lot of IPs that we need to scan and say a client has given you the IPs in some sort of file format. So let's go ahead and try Unicorn Scan. So we're just gonna do it a dash h to see what it says we can do and again it, there's a lot of things that we can do but there isn't much that differs from nmap with i found with unicorn scan as well it was quite it's not as tidy as nmap so the results aren't that well presented um there has also been discrepancies as well with the results from unicorn scan and nmap and it seems that nmap is slightly more accurate the good thing about unicorn scan is that it is very quick at doing UDP scans. So like we was doing the UDP scans in the basic Nmap video, you saw that it, was, it took a very long time, around 24 minutes to do the scan. So just an example here, I hope that the Nmap one has finished by now, but I did a scan with Unicorn Scan with the same address and it did it a lot quicker than what Nmap would, has previously done. So I ran these at exactly the same time and okay, so Nmap has finished, but as you see from the results, there's a lot more results from Nmap and then there is from Unicorn Scan. So let's go ahead and just do a normal Unicorn Scan. So if we're just going to do that IP and just press enter. So we have the results there. So if we go ahead and just do an Nmap scan, let's see how long it takes Nmap to do the same thing and to see what the results are. A 
So Nmap is pretty quick when you're just doing one IP address. So if we look at the results, again, there seems to be a lot of things that Nmap has picked up that Unicorn Scan hasn't. I'm sure Mascan, Scan, and Unicorn Scan have their own benefits. However, for what we plan to do, Nmap seems the best solution for what we need. Nmap has great documentation and there's loads of options that you can use. And it seems that from initial scans, the Nmap results are more accurate than any of the other tests that we've tried. Although it is still beneficial to check your results with other scans to see if there is any other ports open that Nmap may have missed.